he did this and it wasn't even live. Now I'm going to do it again. Okay, my daughter Beth should be watching if she's watching and this is working. Please ping me. Let me know if it's what if it's working. Okay, so I mixed up some bread dough. We're going to be doing an activity today. This is good for two to five year olds. And um, I put in the ingredients in my mixing bowl. I used my dough hook to mix them together. So the ingredients are easy and they're not expensive. You have one and a third cups of water, three tablespoons of margarine, three and three quarters cup of flour, three tablespoons of sugar, one and a half teaspoons of salt, and two and a quarter teaspoons of active dry yeast, or you tear open one of those little envelopes that has the right amount in it for this three and three quarters to four cups of flour. We save a little for dusting so it doesn't get sticky. So you're mixing up that dough and then you're going to knead it. So you're pushing it down and pulling it, and pushing it down and pulling it, pushing it down and pulling it. And you want it smooth and elastic. So you might have to add a little more flour to it, but it's not sticking to my hands like terribly. I can move it around in my hands. Maybe I'm going too quickly. I can move it around in my hands fairly easily without getting it all stuck in my fingers. And there's a lot of chemistry to this and all, but basically you're having fun with your kids. And so you're kneading it first, maybe 10 to 20 minutes, however long you can keep them busy. And um, you're having fun with it. You know, you wash their hands first and now you're just playing with the dough and you're developing that gluten. So you're pushing and stretching and pushing and stretching and uh, having fun. Then you're going to clean out your, uh, your bowl and you're going to put it in a little uh, spray or a little olive oil on a napkin so it's greased. And then you're, once you're done kneading it, you're going to put it in a warm oven to rise for about an hour and a half. You want it to double. So a warm oven is usually 170 degrees. That's too hot. We only want 120 degrees, but you warm it up to 170 and then you turn it off and you put your dough in there in your greased bowl and you let it rise for about an hour and a half. And that makes it lighter. And then, oh, this is a great activity. You get to do something else. Then you take it out. You're gonna knead it again. And then you're going to shape it however you want it. If you're doing with older children, you can do uh, pocketbooks, braids, high heels, whatever your imagination is. With little kids, it's great to do turtles. So you have one blob of dough for the shell of the turtle. You have four little legs, a tail, and a head. And you eat turtle rolls at dinner time, And everybody's excited because I made them. I made them. Oh, this is great. So you take them out, you knead them again, and then you shape them. Then you put a towel over that, put it back in that warm oven, and it rises for about another hour to double again. You're hoping for lightness, but mostly you're having fun, right? You're doing this great activity with your kids. So you do that, and then you're going to cook them at 375 for about 17 to 22 minutes. So start at 17 minutes checking them. If they're not done, three more minutes, then three more minutes. Just, you, you want them done, not overdone. A nice brown top on them. And it'll be great. You'll have that for supper. So just plan, if you're having a 5.30 supper, that you get them in the oven around 5.05. And they'll come out. They'll be too hot right at the beginning, but then a little butter on them. You'll have a great dinner tonight and a fun activity. Hope you had fun with this. Talk to you later. Bye.